find it well. It's good to see you again. We have a lot of fun things if you notice. You're on the outside today. Hmm, wonder why. Today is April 22nd. It's Earth Day. So let's celebrate Earth Day on the outside of you. Enjoy the tree, sunshine, flowers. Okay, we're going to get started. We're going to start without the morning sun. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Oh, how do you do? How do you do? Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning. We we wish we hope that you're having a great morning. Now it's time for our wish you well. Um, we're gonna wish the ones well, uh, well that are uh, that have not saw, uh, signed up on yet and we like to wish everybody well mommies daddies aunties uncles our neighbors just everybody even while we're still in shutting we're wishing everybody well so are we are we ready for the wish you well song all right i need somebody to help me with it can you help here we go we wish you well we wish you well all through the day today we wish you well once again we wish you well oh we wish you well all through the day today we wish you well good job guys we're going to get started with our class we're going to start off by our question excuse me i'm back and forth i'm trying to get used to the outside a little bit so just bear with me we're going to start with our question of the day our question of the day is, uh, what colors are you wearing? You know, we're talking about um, we're talking about clothing. This unit is about clothing. So, what colors are you wearing today? I'll start with my colors. I have on orange. I have multiple colors on. I have orange, mainly orange, but I have blue, pink, green, black. Um, I believe a little bit, bit of red in there. So, what colors do you have on the day? Can you tell me what colors do you have on? Name your colors. Look down and name your colors for me. Good job. Great. Now we're, every day we practice, we practice our opposites. So we're gonna get started today. Um, we're gonna open our book and we're gonna, I'm gonna ask you opposite and you're gonna uh, respond back to me. And I know we have mommies there ready, ready to help you as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I hope you can see the book with all the sunlight. We're going to try to take a peek. I uh, hope I'm up further now. Let's go. The opposite of big is what? Hmm. The opposite of big is small. The opposite of big is small. The opposite of, of is, um, the opposite of above is below. Oh, we're getting tongue tied here. The opposite of above is below. The opposite of fast is slow. The opposite of fast is slow. Good job. The opposite of hot is cold. The opposite of hot is cold. The opposite of old is young. The opposite of old is young. The opposite of up is down. The opposite of up is down. The opposite of long is short. The opposite of long is short. The opposite of happy is sad. The opposite of happy is sad. The opposite of night is day. The opposite of night is day. The opposite of front is back. The opposite of front is back. Good job, guys. We want to keep our opposites in mind. We want to remember. We pause for a minute to excuse the noise. Remember, it's Earth Day and we're on the outside. We're enjoying the sun. We're enjoying the birds chirping. We're enjoying the trees, the beautiful, beautiful trees. 
Now, guys, we're going to place uh, we'll use some of our cards. I'm hoping you can see the pictures. I'm just going to open it up, and you tell me what it is. You're correct. Smiling, smiling, smiling. Well, when we flip over, what do we see? Rattle, rattle, rattle. Let's see what we have here. Clap, clap, clap. I can clap my hands. Let's flip over. What do we see? Tiger, tiger, tiger. This is a good one. What is it? Ear, ear, ear. Exactly, ear. What do we have here? Swing, swing. Everybody loves those swings. When we go on the outside, everybody is running toward the swing. Let's see what we have here. Elephant, 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 elephant. Let's flip over. Arms up, arms up, arms up. Good job, guys. We got a couple more and then we're moving on. What do we have here? Moon, <laughs> moon. 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 I heard that loud and clear. What do we have here? Boy. 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 Correct. Boy. Bow. Uh huh. Bow. What do we have here? Turtle, turtle. I wonder who have a pert pet turtle. Turtle. Ah, uh, this is a good one. Keys. I guarantee you, somebody like to hold to mommy's keys. Keys. When we get ready to go, we wave. Bye bye. Wave. 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 What do we have here? Cats. 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 Oh my goodness. Here's a good one. You're looking at me with them. Your eyes. 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 Ah. Somebody might have a pet, a pet dog. Dog, yes, dog. Mouth. Good job. Oh, this is a good one. Point, point. I'm pointing at you, point. Giraffe, giraffe, the giraffe have a long neck, giraffe. Tongue, tongue, good. Chimpanzee, chimpanzee, chimpanzee. Okay, guys. We've gone through our cards and uh, our words for the day. It's time for a story, but once again, we want to talk about we're on the outside today. We surprised you a little bit. Just want to take a sip of water. It's kind of hot out here. We're on the front side. Thank you, guys. Um, but we're enjoying our Earth Day today. We talked about recycle a few months ago and how we clean up and we pick up behind ourselves. We don't throw trash on the ground, but we put it in the trash can. 
how we separate trash from recycled material. And I think everybody remember the recycle sign. We still look at it and uh, you find it and you show it to me. So Earth Day is about taking care of this earth. Um, we all are responsible. We all live here. We share it with not just human here, but we have um, cats and dogs and birds and bees, and we have to share it with them. So we take care of it, okay? So we're gonna have a wonderful Earth Day. And today, um, when we hang up, we want you to do something to take care of the Earth. If you go on the outside with mommies and daddies, I want you to pick up paper if you see it. Uh, but make sure, make sure you use gloves. Okay, I'll point it out and ask mommy or daddy to help you get it up. Okay, because we want to keep ourselves safe. Okay, uh, at this time, we're getting ready for story time. Uh, um, clothing is our unit for the month, and um, we're gonna look at um, caps for sale. We're gonna start with caps for sale. Uh, I wish. I was there with you, but you know what? If you want to grab a cap real quick and put it on your head, you can. We're going to try to see in the sunlight. We'll probably read half of the story today and finish the other half on Friday. But caps for sale. Caps before. Before we uh, begin to read, we're going to sing our um, our story time song. Does anybody remember the story time song? Mm, maybe one or two? Okay. But we're going to sing our story time song. And then we're going to read the story, Caps for Sale. Or we're going to start reading the story, Caps for Sale. All right, here we go, story time. Story time, story time. Let's get together and read a book. Story time, story time. Let's get together and read a B-O-O-K. dun 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 a book. Good job, guys. All right, time for story. Let's talk about the book first. We know that the author writes the story. What does the illustrator do? Do you remember what the illustrator does? Well, I'm going to help you out. The author writes the story. The illustrator draws these beautiful pictures. So the illustrator do the drawing of the pictures, okay? Caps for sale. Let's get started about um, with uh, caps for sale. A tale of a pet of a peddler and some monkeys and their monkey business. And their monkey business. So we're gonna turn around. Hopefully you can see it. I'm trying to, if you see me moving around, I'm trying to position myself where I can read without the sun shining directly in my face. So I'm hoping you can see the book. We will have a second and even a third reading for this month is out with this particular book. So when we ask for your request, you might want to request this um, if you enjoy this book. Here we go, Caps for Sale. He walked up and down the street, holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. He went along and he called, Caps for Sale, Caps for Sale, 50 cent a cap. See if we can get that turned for you. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling caps for sale, caps for sale, 50 cent a cap. But nobody wanted a cap. Nobody wanted caps that morning. Nobody even wanted a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. Lunch. I think I'll walk in the countryside, he said. And he walked out of town slowly, slowly, so not to upset the caps. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. This is a nice place to rest, he thought. And he sat down very, very slowly under the tree and leaned back, little by litter against the tree trunk so not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he picked up his hands to feel if they were straight. First his own checkered cap, then a gray cap, a brown cap, then a blue cap, then a red cap on the very top. They were all there, 
So he went to sleep. He slept a long time. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure all his caps were in, a, in the right place. And he felt his own checkered cap. He looked to the right. He looked to the left. No caps. He looked in back of him, in back of him, no caps. He turned uh, beside the tree, no caps. I wonder where did his caps go? Hmm. Then he looked up in the tree. And what do you think he saw? Yes, you are completely right. <laughs> On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey with a gray cap, a brown cap, a blue cap, and a red cap. The peddler looked at the monkey. You monkeys, you. The peddler looked at the monkey. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking his finger at them. Give me back my caps. But the monkeys only looked and shook their finger at him and said, this made the peddler angry so he shook both hands and then said you monkeys you give me back my caps but the monkeys only shook both hands at him and said now he felt quite angry he stomped his foot and said, you monkeys, you, you'd better give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their foot back at him and said, tzz, tzz, tzz. this is a stopping place, uh, guys, and we'll finish. Oh, we only have a few more pages. Do you want to go on and complete it? Well, we're going to try, try to go ahead and finish this. Uh, let's turn the page. Just remember, we're on the outside, and there's a little bit of noise with the cars going by, but we're enjoying Earth Day. Let's turn the page. By the time the peddler was really very, very, by this time, the peddler was, peddler was really uh, very, very angry. He stamped both of his feet and shouted, you monkeys, you, you must give me back my caps. The monkeys only stamped both their feet back at him and said, tzz, tzz, tzz. At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his cap, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. He pulled off his cap, threw it on the ground, and walked away. But then each monkey pulled off his cap. What do you think they're going to do with it? Yes, you're right. Let's turn the page and find out. Then the monkeys pulled off his cap. The monkeys pulled off their cap. And all the gray caps, all the brown caps, all the blue caps, all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First, he put his own checkered cap, then the gray cap, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red cap, caps on the very top. And slowly he walked back to town. Caps for sale, caps for sale. 50 cents a cap. The end. I hope you enjoy that story. Uh, once again, um, each, each day we'll have a new book. This story will be read again 
maybe two more times before our unit's out. And we have special requests for story. Your very first, uh, very special story that you'd like to hear again. You can always put in the request and we'll meet those requests. We'll have the final week for uh, meeting your requests, the stories that you want to hear. Um, caps for sale. 